Welcome to another episode of Technology for Independence with Christopher Cooley. Today, he's going to be talking about his experiences with the Helen Keller National Center located in New York. So stay tuned. Welcome back to another episode of Technology for Independence with Christopher Cooley. Christopher Cooley is a Ohio Tech Ambassador with the state of Ohio. Chris, always a pleasure talking with you. Uh, my pleasure to be here. Um, today we're going to talk about a little bit about my experience at Helen Keller National Center for the Deaf Blind in Long Island, New York. Back in the late 90s, I lost my vision, and I grew up hearing impaired, and then late 90s, I ended up um, losing my sight, and I had big dreams, I had big goals, I didn't know, after going legally blind, I didn't know how to keep pushing myself, how to be able to, how am I going to function? How am I going to allow my dream to come true? Um, if I'm if I'm legally deaf and legally blind, how am I going to do all this? Um, so I had a case management from the Deaf Center here in Portsmouth, Ohio. And she was like, hey, Chris, um, there was a young man by the name of Jeff Borman. He was a graduate from a college in Maryland. Um, and he had his master's degree. Um, he'd done a lot as a deaf blind guy, totally deaf and totally blind. He was a rep for Helen Keller National Center here in Ohio. He now had passed away, um, but he was so helpful. He came to the center, the deaf center here in Portsmouth, and he talked to me and he encouraged me about going to Helen Keller National Center. And thinking about it being, you know, I just lost my vision and I, you know, struggle with my hearing a lot. And um, going to New York, that was scary. That was a big, scary decision. And I wasn't going to have my mom with me. I wasn't going to have family with me. I wasn't going to have, I didn't know, I didn't know much about New York at that time. So at early 2003 and uh, up to uh, 11, I attended um, Hella Keller National Center for the Deaf Mind. Um, my first day there, they gave me an orientation, showed me around, um, and the state paid for me to go um, to Hella Keller to learn how to be more independent, learn my communication, sign language, learning um, how to live on my own, um, you know, as a deaf blind person. Um, and, you know, a lot of folks today um, are amazed when they see somebody that is totally deaf and totally blind, that going to college, having these big degrees, um, and being able to go um, and have a, make a family for themselves, um, kids. And uh, the big the big question is a lot of times how do you have babies how do you have babies when you can't hear anybody cry um, or you can't see them um, easy Helen Keller showed me uh, that there is technology out there that either vibrates uh, with loud sounds um, so if I was sleeping and I had a child um, my bed would shake when that child cried. Um, and let me know that something was going on. Um, those are kind of great technologies that Hello Keller National Center offers um, and, and shows individuals that they can do whatever they want to do if they set their mind to it. Um, you know, you have sign language here. 
some use sign language here, and some may just use sign language here, and then there's some that may use sign language over here because of their vision. Um, when we say deaf blind, we don't we don't always mean we're totally deaf and we're totally blind. Um, some of us are able to hear just a little bit and able to see a little bit. And Helen Keller was great. Chris, when were you diagnosed legally blind? I was diagnosed legally blind back in 1997. 97. Back okay. in 19, 1997. And uh, when you're legally blind, what is the vision? For instance, I my vision is 2020 corrected with lenses. What is your vision? Most of the legally blind vision, mine is, my vision is about 2,400. My hearing is soundly deaf. I don't know the numbers on that right off, but uh, I do use hearing aids that connect to my computer, connect to Alexa. I can connect the Bluetooth hearing aids. So I could connect them and be able to hear better with those um, hearing aids um, and be able to communicate better. Um, I do use a video phone for the deaf, uh, which is on a big screen TV with a camera. Um, so when I call somebody, like say if I want to call or order a pizza, I can put in Jim Bonnie's pizza phone number and I can um, dial that on the video phone and the interpreter will pop up and, and help me communicate um, to that pizza place. It's a video phone for the deaf, and I love it. A lot of deaf blind individuals use this video for the phone. Um, now, back in the day, um, they used to have TTY phone, where you put the phone down over the, the little um, computer thing and be able to see um, the printed words of someone else saying it, uh, what they're saying. Um, and then you could type back at that operator. Um, on the other end, will tell that individual what you are typing. Um, and so that was a communication for a while. Now we have the opportunity because of technology, see each other face to face. We're able to see the interpreter. Um, we're able to um, call our friends and family and, and stay communicated. Um, and Helen Keller had been a big, had been a big in inspiration to me because, gee, I learned so much of, you know, independence. When you were at uh, the Helen Keller Institute, what, is it a college or what outline do they use? Yeah, Helen Keller is like a trade school. You go there, you learn independence, you learn um, different technology. Um, they teach you as a deafblind individual how you can be successful um, in getting a job. They even take you out into the community, work with you um, at maybe like at a paper stand. Um, they teach you how to communicate with people, how to sell uh, newspapers and, you know, drinks or whatever it may be at that stand. Um, you get to practice um, how to, you get to practice different things um, and, and learn that, that certain thing um, to be able to come back to your home area and be able to have a job, be able to do what you want to do. They're there to help you do what you want to do. As a trade school, uh, are there certain occupations uh, that you know you will get into when you, when you go to the center? We, we have dreams. We have dreams um, and hope um, what we want to do in our lives. When we get there, um, Helen Keller writes down our dreams and our goals. Um, and they will guide us and lead us um, into the areas that we um, that they might be able to help us with that. Um, you know, like opening up a little coffee store or open up a little stand. Um, or maybe just, um, you know, some folks want to be um, a professor at a college. And they work on that with you and help you learn uh, the ways of uh, the 
the technology and different things that may help you um, along that way to be able to be in that occupation. So is it one-on-one? -on -one? Is it classroom settings? Uh, what, what's the training? The individuals that are there um, are all different. Some are totally blind. Some, some are totally deaf. Some can speak. Some can't. So most of the time, it's usually one-on-one. -on -one. And then there's times that there's maybe just two of us with, with one teacher. When, when you go there, do you go for like three months, six months? Is there a time set where you go? There, if you need to, if, if it takes you two to three years, then that's how long you'll stay there and learn. Um, if it takes you, um, usually it's, it usually the program lasts about a year, um, up to a year. But if you need more training, uh, they will be gladly to keep you and, and help you with more training. Because I, I noticed that uh, you have been attending uh, from uh, 2003 to 2011. So I, I'm assuming you have gone back for additional kinds of educational programs. I've been there my, my first time in 2003. Uh, back and forth, working with different representatives of Ohio, working with them. They come, they come to my home and help me um, with any education or anything that I may need um, to help me along my way of journey. Um, back and forth, I still, um, you know, I promote Helen Keller a lot because, you know, if, if I need something and I call them, they're going to come and help me. I know. Let, let's suppose that I lose my eyesight. Uh, how do I get in touch with them uh, for me to undertake additional training? But um, you can look them up on the internet, um, on Google, um, Helen Keller National Center for the Deaf Blind in um, Long Island, New York. In contacting them, is there certain requirements uh, when I attend the school that I have to have, for instance, if I have a, uh, a guide dog, uh, am I permitted to bring the dog? When I when I went uh, back in 2003, I started, I had my guide dog with me. Um, and and um, yes, you are able to bring your guide dog with you. They encourage you to do that because that's part of your independence. That's part of your training. They have a about they have a valuation list that they can evaluate you and see what what works for you. Um, some some may be legally deaf, some may be legally blind, both. Um, and then there may be some that just may be nonverbal and need some help, other help. Um, Helen Keller is there. Um, they will do evaluation and see um, where you might. Um, end up, you know, what area you might need to work on. Have you ever considered working there? I've been asked that multiple times. And if I had the chance to, I would. I really would. My dream, um, going to Helen Keller, I really wanted to get into um, having my own coffee shop here at Portsmouth, Ohio. I'd be the first owner of a shop that is legally deaf and blind. Um, and I wanted to bring into my shop uh, the technology. I want people to walk in and see the opportunity that I use to help me be able to communicate, help me be able to make make coffee and have the snacks and treats um, and those things. Um, that's been my dream all my life. Um, today, it's just been hot. I have a building that my friend told me, hey, if we can find the funding for you, um, we can find the funding to help you get started, then you can use this building that I have here in Portsmouth, Ohio. And I've been struggling. And, and, and sometimes um, because of my disability, it's hard um, to get people to, you know, sponsor you, be, get people to um, help you uh, because because they, they look at the disability and think, you might not make it. How are you going to do it? If you give me 
my logo all the time is always give me a chance and I'll show you. I can't do it. When you go to the Helen Keller uh, Institute, do you have a, a room that you can stay in or do you have to make arrangements uh, off campus? They have an on-campus site where you stay in. When I was there, all the rooms were on the same floor. Um, and in the cafeteria where you eat lunch and breakfast and dinner, um, they have their own own chef that that chef made um, our meals every day. Um, and, you know, it's all on the same floor with our room. Uh, we may be by ourselves and there's some that maybe um, have a roommate. So, you know, depending on how many students they have at that time um, is if you get your room by yourself. I got my room by myself because I had my guide dog. You know, people with multiple disabilities can surprise you and show you they can do things in their community. And since we're talking about the Helen Keller Institute, if someone is interested in, in attending the program, what advice would you give them? A lot of parents have a hard time letting go. And I understand that. It, it's fearful. My suggestion would be um, go for it. Go for it. Because you will learn a lot. And you will see many people that maybe just like you and, and I'm learning how to be independent. It's worth the while and the time. Go for it. Helen Keller Institute, um, Helen Keller National Center for the Deaf Blind um, not only works with young adults and older adults, they also have a center for children, for children that are deaf blind or legally deaf and blind. Hey, we're talking with uh, Chris Cooley. Uh, he's a Ohio Tech ambassador with the state of Ohio. Uh, Chris, I want to thank you very much for uh, sharing your insights and information regarding the Helen Keller uh, Center. <music>